Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access Trader.com. Uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, a lot of stuff to uh, get into today. Uh, a couple of things again. If you are brand new to the channel, please like, share, support the channel. The only thing we're asking you is for that click the like button and subscribe, and we'll take care of everything. Trying to uh, put you on the road to um, longevity. I think that's the best way of saying it. And and the best way to travel on the road to longevity is always looking at the market from an unbiased point of view, and we kind of try to direct that message every single day. Uh, one announcement before we get started. Uh, as you guys know, once a month, or maybe you don't know, once a month, uh, Kenyon does a really great psychological series. Uh, it's the Trader Mindset Series. He does it once a month uh, for all the peeps in uh, Access to Trader. Uh, if you don't know who Kenyon is, he is uh, a, a, an amazing, amazing life coach, public speaker. He speaks to all these Fortune 500 companies and, uh, and thousands and thousands of people. And we are incredibly lucky and fortunate and blessed to have here once a month uh, discussing the, the, the sheer anguish and hurdles of the mental side of the market. Obviously, I've gone through my, my pains. I have the lashes uh, to, to really understand uh, and convey my message but when it comes from another point of view of somebody who actually you know does this from a day-to-day -day basis and speaks to the inner soul of human beings uh, it's a really cool treat once a month so uh, if anybody if you are coming aboard uh, this week or next week uh, again it's totally included uh, and you definitely do not want to miss it. it's going to be uh, Saturday uh, April the 15th and I think uh, Kyler posted uh, a previous video on this YouTube channel uh, to kind of give you a little bit of a hint. So he's been doing this now. I think this is his fourth uh, installment of this series. So uh, hopefully you guys will continue to get a lot of value uh, from this. It's it's really, really neat. Uh, it's something to ex extremely experience live. Uh, so let's talk about the tape, right? Obviously, the big story today uh, was CPI number. Uh, the consensus was, you know, 5.1, 5.2%. Um, I, I, you know, I, I try to every single, you know, every single video try to give, you know, try to give it from, a, from an adult, uh, you know, very composed point of view of what I think is going to happen. And we talked about this last night. It wasn't, uh, the data, the hard data that was going to come in that was important. It was, uh, how the market was going to react. Well, you know, we knew about, uh, we knew about the levels uh, of interest. Uh, we knew about the 319 level to the upside. We knew about the 313 to the downside. We'll get to uh, the latter in a second. Uh, but this morning, the number came out. It was 5% better than expected. And as you can see here, the first move, uh, the first move of the market this morning was just a massive move up. It, you know, moved up in about uh, 30 seconds. Uh, you know, exploded through the 19, put in a high of uh, 1985, and then 15 seconds later. It started to come down slowly but surely, slowly but surely. And this is what we talked about last night on the video. Let the dust settle, right? Let the as as I said on the, on the video last night, let the bodies hit the floor, right? Let the bodies hit the floor. We know where the bodies are buried. Once uh, the noise dies out and everything kind of gets a little bit stabilized, and if you know opening ranges kind of get confirmed, we'll f we'll see a trend for the for the market. And you know for the bulls, uh, they had their shot. They really did. They had their shot. Uh, again, CPI came in, uh, you know, came in better uh, than expected. And as you, if you blinked, right, if you blinked, um, bulls gave back that 19 level within literally 30, 40 seconds. And the trend developed, right? It's the trend developed and it's not the trend uh, that the bulls wanted to see. And we just kind of drifted the whole day, got aggressive down, you know, got a little bit of a dead cat and just started drifting down. And not only did we not, uh, you know, hang on to the top of the range, we closed at the bottom of the range. We talked about uh, the importance of 313 to the downside, 319 to the upside. Again, we closed at 313. We'll, we'll talk about uh, the significance of that uh, in a second. And I, I think, you know, going into tomorrow, right? Going into tomorrow, you have 
Uh, another uh, data point, right? You have the PPI. Okay, I think uh, tomorrow could be, uh, you know, kind of the last. I don't want to. Use, I don't want to be too dramatic. I, I don't want to cause FOMO or anything like that, or any kind of hysteria or anything. Again, I'm trying to just. I'm trying to just really just lay out the facts. Um, but I, I think tomorrow, uh, if the bulls don't step up on this PPI number, you know, you, you're going to have uh, a pretty decent move to the downside because again, if we confirm tomorrow this downward channel, you see this rising support here on the queues and the queues start losing, you know, this 312 level, right? This 312 level, especially on the close, we have room all the way down to 302, 303. Again, I don't expect that to happen in one session, but again, that's kind of the whole point of stocks trading from supply to supply and demand to demand to demand to demand. Uh, and I think the bulls, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say they they dropped the ball today, but uh, the last thing you wanted to see is that is that move over 319 faded. And again, it wasn't faded in two three hours; it was faded in 30 seconds. So uh, not not a great thing. Uh, aside from PPI tomorrow at 8:30, uh, you have Friday. You have more data. Uh, jobless claims. If you know, if the first two uh, data points of this week wasn't enough, so the investors have a lot of you know a lot of things on their plate. Uh, but more important is price action, right? And that's the name of the game. It's all about price action. Um, I didn't spend more than 13 seconds, um, you know, kind of digesting or ingesting the data, the CPI number. Again, for me, it's just all about price action. And we say this all the time, we're prepared. Okay, that's the most important thing. It's not just, you know, it's not just being biased on one side and huffing and puffing, you know, and complaining uh, on people with social media when that side doesn't get confirmed, when your plan doesn't confirm. You have to be ready. You have to be ready on both sides. We kind of, uh, you know, we, we, we stress that fact every single video. We stress that fact every single day in the live webinar to make sure that everybody is is very evenly balanced. You're not you're not jumping out of the airplane. No offense, Kenyon. I know you have five eight thousand jumps under your belt, right? But the point is, you, you know, you, you're looking at the market from a, a very logical point of view, and technical analysis uh, is your guide. We'll get to the pivots in a second. A really good aggressive session today, especially pull into the close by the you know by all our favorites. And again, we'll get to that in a second. So here's the significance, right? Here's the significance. Um, let me give you guys levels. That 312 level has to hold on, okay? Uh, 312.50 uh, was the low today. This is the lowest close. Uh, this is the lowest close in this whole entire formation. So you can see here, you have 11, you know, you have this 12, right? It's basically, I don't want to split hairs. It's 312. So if the bulls don't hold on to this 312 area, okay, we have a lot of room down. Again, like I said a few minutes ago, is it going to come on one, you know, uh, on one day? Probably not. But again, the last thing the bulls want to do is close below this 312 level because you could see your pot of gold, especially if you're trading on both sides of the market, this 304, uh, which becomes the 50-day moving average. And I'm going to give you guys a whole bunch of examples for tomorrow, stocks that are about to lose support, loss support, uh, or closed right on support. So you can really understand the significance. And unfortunately, a lot of traders are, are going to be going to sleep tonight, you know, not really fully grasping the importance of today's close or, or even more important, not grasping the importance of what happens if we confirm today's price action going into tomorrow. A lot of people just turn around and go, ha, ha, ha. You know, just buy the dip, buy the dip. Again, again, like I said in every single video, I have no idea where the market's going to go. I have a guess, right? I have an educated guess based on technical analysis. But again, is it possible tomorrow you're, you're looking at the market and go, market's up 500. Ha ha, Shapiro, you're an idiot. I am an idiot. We all know this, right? I'm, I'm, I just, you know, I just admit it. But again, if you take the data, and that's what we do every single day. Again, I don't know where the market's going to be three weeks from now, three months ago, from three months from now. You know, I'm trying to win tomorrow, right? That's all we're trying to do. We're trying to win our interval. We're not trying to guess the closing prices tomorrow. We're not trying to guess the closing prices next week. We're trying to take the data that we just took, right? And I just spent a good, you know, 20 minutes looking at a whole bunch of charts, which basically there was no reason why, because the same five, 10 stocks I trade every single day that's on my watch list. But the point is I did their research and I'm patiently waiting. Even if we gap up tomorrow, okay? I'm patiently waiting. I'm going to give... I'm going to give the bears every opportunity to confirm today's price action for tomorrow. And if the, if I see the market is not going down and we're not confirming today's price action, that's the beauty of being prepared on both sides, right? Then we'll switch bias. We'll switch bias based on concrete technical evidence 
not what we want in our heart and hoping to God that happens, okay? We're guided by technical analysis, not our emotions. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas for tomorrow and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about, right? Look at Netflix, right? Look at Netflix. Netflix closed right on its 50 and 20 day moving average. If Netflix confirms this channel down, there's like five, seven points in the trade. Look at Amazon, okay? We had, you know, we had, we had a pivot this morning on Amazon, right? Look at Amazon, okay? Amazon is exactly the same chart as Netflix. It's sitting right on its 50 and 20 day moving average. If Amazon confirms, right, you have room all the way down to 94.95. Look at Tesla, right? Obviously the star of the day. Look at Tesla. Tesla lost its five day moving average. If it confirms today's price action tomorrow, we're gonna go down to the bottom of the range here at 176. Any close below 176 tomorrow on Tesla, and you have room all the way down to 163. Again, is it gonna happen in one day? Probably not. But again, these are the levels that are going to organically be tested. And if they do confirm, good things usually are going to happen uh, after that. Look at NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA lost its launch today, right? It's just sitting right on the bottom, right on the bottom of the range. Again, is it possible NVIDIA turns around and explodes tomorrow? Absolutely, right? Everything's on the table. But this is where we talk about being prepared. In case it loses the bottom of the range here, and it's held the bottom of the range here four, three separate times. If it loses the bottom of the range here, look how much room you have, uh, you have as well. So we're set up. Apple, there's a million stocks. Look at Apple, same thing. Apple sitting on the bottom of the range here. So uh, if the bears want to take control, tomorrow's the day for it. You know, get below, you know, get below 312, stay below 312 on the queues. If the bulls want to seize control, you know, you want to see a, a washout, reclaim of three, you know, 313, and then rally. And, and, and everything else, it's all a bunch of noise. So let's talk about today's pivots. Uh, let's talk about today's pivots, guys. Um, wrong one, wrong one. Uh, let's talk about today's pivots. If I could put on the browser, it would help. Um, let's talk about today's pivots. So again, big gap up, big crap up. All the, you know, all the things the same. Lowest close uh, in this whole formation. And now we are going to be, and now we're going to be uh, talking about uh, now we're going to be talking about some uh, pivots for tomorrow if this damn thing would ever load oh, okay here we go so here are the pivots for today right here's the pivots for today all right so here's my notes uh, CPI came in better than expected market is surging we obviously do not want to chase these candles right as you know ask the people this morning if they chase those candles what happened the good news is we should see an expansion today yes we did uh, let the dust settle, let the noise die down. I'll start putting in pivots as they develop. Again, 319 was the big level. As soon as the market opened, this thing just tanked straight down below. Uh, here is, you know, here is, you know, here is a two-sided pivot on the video, 275.15. If it needs to build, could get the 78, got nowhere near 215, 275, went straight down. Meta, 217 needs to build, we're nowhere that. This damn thing just went straight down from, from the open. Uh, VKTX uh, 18 rejected twice needs to build a uh, nice little pop. Apparently it happened at lunchtime when I was gone. But again, if you guys caught it, nice little pop from 18 to 1840s. Uh, obviously came back in with everything else. Let's skip aside all the stocks that didn't confirm. Google didn't confirm, blah, 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 blah. Here we go, right? So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So in the video, the video was the first stone to be uh, turned. 7126 if it builds below it can flush here is nvidia smashed right smashed here's the 7126 went all the way down to 64 again guys watch the bottom channel here if this thing confirms uh there's more room down tesla definitely the trade of the day uh 8560 if it builds below it can flush tesla right now is at the lowest level uh trading about 180 uh after uh, trading about 180 uh after hours if this thing confirms tomorrow uh, we could see uh, we could see all the way down to 176. Phenomenal, phenomenal move on Tesla. Amazon 99. If it builds below, can flush. Here is Amazon. Right, took out the 99. Closed right pretty much at the low of the day. If this thing loses today's lows, there's you know room all the way down to 95. Big move down there as well. There was actually an upside pivot. Uh, Microsoft actually worked the upside. Uh, 286 rejected twice needs to build. You know, popped you know, pop the book about a buck 
before the destruction in prices. Here's the 286, right? So here's the 286. And I popped about a buck. Uh, excuse me, 286 was right here. Popped right about a buck uh, into supply. Again, considering how the market did, that wasn't a bad move uh, whatsoever. And I believe, right? I believe that is it, right? Good rejection. When a, this is this is early in the day. Good rejection. Make sure you take on the way down. Uh, and that's it. That's it. So we are set up for tomorrow, guys. Uh, again, very, very important day uh, for the Bulls. Very important day for the Bears. If the Bulls can hold on to that 313 level, that's a good thing. If the Bears seize control back of the 313 level, start taking down today's ranges and confirm 312, there should be uh, more aggressive selling to come. So guys, have a great night, everybody. Just a reminder, there is no video tomorrow. Tomorrow is my regular night off. But once again, guys, if you are planning to join us, whether it's tomorrow, Friday, or next week, you know, you have this wonderful, wonderful event coming up on Saturday, uh, the 15th, with Kenyon in his next installment of the Trader Mindset th uh, Series. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Stay blessed, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take